community. Good morning, biker chick. Gonna go get on my Harley and take a ride. Go and ride the hog. Go ride the hog. <laughs> with with your uh, cardboard boyfriend. See if we can get him. Sorry, right, I'm gonna go ride with Norman. Here we go. <laughs> Norman right now is in a train. Uh, what do you call these? Train car. Train car. And terminus. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. They're about to break out thanks to Carol. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. So today I have um, to go pick up a... We got to go pick something up. And it's, it could be a dump. It could be something else because he's just. she just wants a, a sofa picked up. She says it's in good shape. And I would have put it on Craigslist personally, but uh, she would rather pay someone to take it than go to that trouble. So they're lost. So I'm gonna go over to Dave's, deal with that. Belle's having salad. I'm playing, doing my puzzles. And I'm playing slot machines at the same time. <laughs> oh, and I'm playing words with friends with Terry. You're oh. doing. You're playing three games at once. Yeah. And are you coloring? No, I didn't color right now. All right. But I have a question to ask people. Okay. If I decide to do a live stream about all my coloring stuff on Sunday. How many people would be interested in coming to the live feed? Because if I'm not going to have anybody show up, I'm not going to do it. So, how many people would come if I did a live stream on Sunday about all my coloring stuff? Okay. I'm feeling very nauseous right now. Mm. Go get her. Go get I'm trying her to get my cookie. Is that what she wants? It's the only thing on the table there is the cookie. <laughs> All right, so I'm off to uh, pick something up with Dave. Off your rocker? Well, been that way in a long, long time. So, mm -hmm. and we'll talk to you later. Oh. Today we uh, picked up a sofa, and we figured out how much people are charging this area just to pick up a single sofa. And it was kind of surprising, which was like a hundred dollars. Which way am I going now? Uh, go left. <clears throat> and um, it's a nice sofa, and uh, we're going to find a home for it. And so, if we got paid fifty dollars basically to haul a, a nice sofa away, if uh, somebody in the families don't want it then we'll probably put it on a Craigslist for sale. It's in the back here. It's green. If anybody wants green. So that's the story of No Junkyard Today. No Junkyard Today. So we're definitely really Sanford and Son. Yep. This will go right next to the TV we got. Yeah. Turn the camera on just as the traffic slowed down. Okay, so I still have the sofa. Um, so nobody, Dave's family wanted it. It's kind of big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it home and put it on Craigslist. Maybe get 20 bucks out of it. It's not a bad looking sofa. I'm going to go to Stater Brothers and pick up some uh, quick meals for Val that she can eat. So that's the money that I got. So then uh, that basically what I'm going to do for the rest of the day is um, set the sofa up in the front yard uh, by the garage, take pictures of it, put it on Craigslist, and uh, take the opportunity to look for other things to sell as well, see uh, what I can do today. I also have another thing that um, I keep wanting to do, but I keep forgetting to do. I've got this table. It's an antique. It's about 100 years old. It's uh, quite attractive and I bought it in an antique shop 25 years ago 
and um, I bought it for my brother at one point. He, it's a game table. He put a uh, chess set on it that he had, a really nice chess set, just as a display. And when he decided to move to uh, Paris with his wife, he gave it back to me. Now, one thing that we discovered when we were looking at it is that there's a little tiny Universal Studios prop tag on it. So at some point, this table was in the prop department at Universal Studios in Hollywood. So a couple of times I went online and tried to see if there's any way I could trace if this particular piece of furniture was used in a movie. And um, if I could, if I could um, find that information, and if it's a, a movie that's of interest and you can actually see it in the movie, uh, it might be worth some money. So, but I keep forgetting to do anything with it. Now, what I would, would like to do now is uh, probably uh, go on to Reddit, because Reddit seems to be the place where people love mysteries, and just take pictures of it and, and pictures of the plaque and say, hey, this is a little mystery. If anybody can give me some information. And if it turns out to be something of value, I'm going to sell it. So, and uh, at this point, we're we're going to have to start selling as much of our uh, our furniture and property that we can, so the less that we can take wherever it is we end up moving to. So, that's uh, that's my plan for today. So, but I want to make sure that Val has some decent meals that she can actually eat. So, Stater Brothers first. All right. So this is the sofa. It's not a bad looking sofa. Could probably need to be cleaned in some places. I'm not going to deal with that. I'm just going to set it up in front of here. Hey, Mojo. And uh, take a picture of it, put it on Craigslist, see if anybody's interested in it. I figured about $20 or best offer and $5 if they want to deliver. I could do that. And uh, Dave also, this has been sitting around in his garage, apparently getting wet. It's a um, compound miter saw. It's been sitting around. So I've got a toy to play with. Yeah, a nice sofa. If we needed one, I would use it. It's good shape. Probably uh, very expensive, probably about $2,000. Because we did pick it up at a uh, home in uh, east side of Riverside that was probably worth a million dollars. So it's probably good good product. Everything about it that looks good. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this. This is the table I was uh, mentioning. It's in pretty dusty, dirty shape. It has a stain on the top now. But it's, uh, there was a time that I was uh, really into antiques. And this was something I purchased about 30 years ago. And about 10 years after I purchased it, I discovered while cleaning it and refinishing it, that it has on the bottom, let's see if I can get a shot of this without getting in my own way. So it has this little plaque on the bottom. It's made out of brass and tapped in and it says Universal Pictures Company Incorporated and it has a prop number N-52-848. So Basically, that means that this at one time was a Universal Studios movie prop. I know nothing about it. I made a, an attempt to try to find out if it was ever in a movie, which would have been cool. Somebody went to a lot of trouble to fix this because these are repairs. These legs used to go directly into this board here. But somebody built these very nice rounded pieces and uh, rebuilt the whole thing. So this is a probably a late Victorian or uh, an early Edwardian piece. It might be British or it could be American. A barley twist is what these are called. Where it is a very British um, concept. I have chairs that match it. They didn't come with it but I bought these later to match it. And these are definitely Edwardian. Edwardian is was the king in 1900 to around 19 something, 14, 15, 16. 
Uh, so that's why they're called Edwardian instead of Victorian. So if anybody knows how to find out from these numbers, Universal Studios prop number, if this, mo this piece was ever used in a movie, let me know. Hey everybody! So, it's been a long day. Mm. I've had a headache all day. And I'm very tired. Hey, sorry. <laughs> what are you doing over here? Huh? What are you doing over here? <laughs> I don't know. She's being weird. You're being weird. You're a weirdo. You're being weird. <laughs> cool. So anyway, um, I'm very tired, so we're going to go ahead and call it an evening. <laughs> yawn. Just made Kevin yawn. Well, yeah. Do you have anything to add, baby? No. You showed the couch? Yeah, I showed the couch, and I showed them our movie prop table. Mm, okay. So I put it on Reddit to see if anybody it feels like doing some research, because I hear a lot of stories that Reddit that Reddit people like mysteries. So hopefully somebody will, maybe one of you guys can do it. But I certainly haven't been able to figure anything out. So, so we're gonna go ahead and call it an evening. Then we hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. If you did, please go ahead and give us a favorite. Give us a thumbs up. Please leave us a comment down below. Share our video with your family and friends. But 